is going on out here? Oh, I thought I'd sneak in without you knowing here. Sneaking in? Try it. It comes apart quicker and it goes back together. Yes, it does. You know that. You're a machinist. I'm not a machinist. Travis is a machinist. That's right. Anyway, we've got some cool stuff going on back here. So this, uh, man, we've had a whole series, like seven or eight videos on this car. I uh, thought it was blown up. Uh, go back and watch them. You'll see what was going on. This is the start of a new video. Uh, a happier, better time, we hope. And where so. that's where some new parts get put on as it gets put together. Look at those. Those are bright. <laughs> look at those. Would you look at them? Anyway, so Danny's putting the car back together. While doing so, he's adding the new charge tubes he ordered. And these are going on, uh, those are going to go on trip right there. Garage is a mess. Don't worry about that. When we get uh, soon here, we will uh, clean it up. We're gonna move Brutus out right now so we can have more room. And then, uh, so what's the deal? We're gonna we're gonna get it running and then we're gonna do zero to sixties, right? We're gonna get it running and then do another oil change. Then maybe zero to sixty. Okay, that's what's going down. Uh, we'll get this thing running. Maybe uh, show you driving, show it driving around a little bit, right? Definitely. All right, we'll be back. I've turned off your air conditioning. All right. So Mr. Phil stopped by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like getting caught on camera with a mouthful of food. Yep. I do it all the time. I mean, to other people. Brandon. Yeah. That's not all. Me. So anyway, um, what's going on, man? Get ready. So we fired it up already, right? Yep. But that was without boost, no intercooler hook installed, hooked up, and definitely not these super awesome charge tubes. Is that okay? It's uh, there's a little hook that holds it. Okay. I was just wondering, there's a little bit of kink in this hose right there. I don't know if you saw that. No, I did not see that. Which We're I not firing up yet. Which I don't understand. Because it... I, I retwisted re it. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to um, take care of that little issue real quick because that would be a little bit of a restriction. And we need this thing to do wheelies because, like, we haven't told Phil yet, but here's what's going to happen. Okay. This car is going to undergo something it's never, it's never been to before. Well. Zero to sixties, draggies. Ooh. It's gonna get added to the list. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna go on the um, on the Facebook group. Fastest, uh, fastest X3 RZR and YZ or whatever it's called. And then we're gonna uh, do something good to make it a little bit faster. Coming up. All right, let's see what this thing does under boost. And it starts right here. It's starting. Right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I've actually always had this problem. E85. E85 on your side. Sounds good. Real good. boosting and there's no smoke so whatever oil was in the turbo 
Transmission. Yes. <laughs> yes, you almost lost the tranny. <laughs> anyway. But I know how close you are with your trannies. So. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to take this thing for a little drive and put some real boost to it. So far, we fired it up. We let it warm up. It got heat in the radiator. The intercooler and turbo is hooked back up. You revved it. The blow valve let some pressure off, so it was obviously building a little bit of boost. Yeah. No smoke. So we took a, uh, since that video's not up yet, but we took a paper towel and I held it over the turbo before everything was hooked up and he right. ran and he could like throttle on and off. And so at first it was spitting a little bit of oil, but the more we did it until it cleaned up completely. So I think that was just residual. I, my theory is that there was so much crank crate, crank case pressure from it overheating and the oil being thin from it overheating that some of the oil blew past, uh, the seal and the turbo into the compressor housing and that's where it came from i don't know you know just a guess or somebody else mentioned that maybe it fed back from the catch can kind of thing i don't know i don't know as much as it was pouring out i don't see it was that. a lot yeah was, i mean it was just pumping out we'll find out we're gonna run it right now and find Pump out the exhaust and then some guy mentioned on our youtube channel he put a comment i don't know if you've been watching all these videos about how the gears cracked but uh, my theory on them cracking is that because they were soaked in E85, he said, I don't know if he's BSing us or not, that he talked to the engineers in Quebec and that uh, they say that E85 is probably the problem with cracking gears. I think somebody was scamming them and texting them from jail. Yep, I think so. Yeah.
got to get this thing out for some zero to 60s. This is the snappiest car I've ever driven. Yeah. This thing just, holy crap, just goes run. Yeah. yeah. It looked like it, it jumped. Yeah. This thing's ridiculous. We got to do zero to 60 in this thing. Holy Go crap. to Bismo first. <laughs> Well, zero to 60, I'll let you know if you're going to make it. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, do you want to see what the boost is? Yeah. All right. good I got 19 pounds of boost just right here I don't know in a what, 200 foot little run yeah just a that, blip one's of right here, that one in front of the house too so it's yeah just a little blip of the throttle really 19 pounds so I, I I think there's a good chance we'll see that 22 we're looking for for uh, for this tune uh, we got to figure out what tune we're gonna run when we do the 0 to 60 it's still on the e85 tune which, uh, you know, I think with the oil change, it's probably okay. But, uh, anyway, it's running. Look at it. It looks good. It sounds good. It runs good. There's no smoke. Uh, it's got plenty of boost. Uh, doesn't seem to be an issue with the turbo. No weird noises. A little bit of a little bit of different noise around the gear area. Water pump area. I don't know if it's just the new gears kind of seating in. I'm not sure. But we'll come back on that. But overall, I think it's good. I think it's good to go. What do you think, man? I think we need to do a 0 to 60 on it. That way it can compare to what we're going to, what I got to do to it next. Yep. So, yeah, that's the thing. We're doing a 0 to 60 for a reason because we want a baseline. Because this is going to get uh, some more parts back in this area back here. Uh, he already put the new charge tubes in, which there'll be no, there's no gain from that because he already had Evo charge tubes. Just happens that these are green. I don't know, it might be worth a couple, you know, two, three horsepower. Could be. Yeah. Well, I had the same charge tube, so. I'm talking about the color. Oh, the, col oh, the color? No, at least yeah. 20. All right, that's it. I mean, that's that covers it, right? Yeah. He's ready to roll. Ready to pop some wheelies. It feels good, I'm telling you. I've driven several cars. This one feels really snappy right now. So, uh, next, one of our next videos is, guess what? This thing's finally going to hit the sand. Uh... So one of our next videos is uh, putting this in sand mode. So that's gonna happen soon.